wait, this one is for our uh, Amazon e-commerce sellers, uh, which I have some philosophical issues with, to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of just staying on Amazon. I don't think you're building your own brand. I think Amazon's going to steal your product. I don't trust their data. But I found something pretty cool. I found something pretty cool, and it has to do with Google. So I'm going to shoot a video on it. I wish I could tell you who showed this to me, by the way. I feel bad because I want to give credit where credit is due, but I don't remember. I wrote a note, and I forgot to uh, attribute credit. So forgive me, whoever you are. Uh, feel free to pipe up in the comments, and I'll apologize to you. Uh, I'm not a user of this software. I'm not a reseller. I'm not a promoter. I don't even know if I like it. But the idea is brilliant. Software called Amped. And what they're doing is they're taking Amazon data inside of the Amazon paid ecosystem and they're using keyword level data from Amazon based on performance and then pushing that into what appears to be a, a, a campaign builder to be honest with you but um, they're automatically building Google Ads campaigns and then and then testing those campaigns against each other based off of pre-existing uh, uh, conversion data inside of Amazon flip and brilliant and they're using where did it go uh, oops Hold on, I zoomed in. I didn't mean to do that. They're using Amazon's API, I think. Yeah, Amped has access to Amazon's exclusive attribution API. I don't think that's exclusive, by the way. I'm pretty sure we all have access to this. So this might be them overstating their position a little bit. Nothing wrong with a little marketing. Um, now, the the uh, conversion tracking inside of Amazon is beyond flawed. It's absolute garbage, so much so to where we just turn that work down right now. Hopefully it gets better. Um, but I, I imagine if you were to couple that with, you know, the fact that the keyword data is coming from already proven um, terms, I, I think this really shows quite a bit in the way of viability. And Amazon's costs are on the rise is what we continue to hear. And I think they make that point here, too. Um, so, oh, yeah, here we go. Amazon PPC costs and corporate com competition rising uh 35 percent of shopping searches start on google you're damn right you're damn right they do uh, and i'm pretty sure that 30 percent of all e-commerce purchases are still through google shopping or something like that nobody quote me on those words but kind of a cool little piece of software and more to the point i really like the idea of informed campaign creation and informed bidding because otherwise you're just starting with all the terms. And you're like, all right, let's go make our mistakes, basically, is what's going to happen. And that's exactly what you do, by the way. You're like, hey, Google, here's the 500,000 terms with you know various manifestations that I need to test. And then Google's like, all right, I'm going to do this for you. And then it narrows down. Well, if you can already start narrowed, and I don't see, and somebody please call me on this, I don't see the Amazon search ecosystem being that much different than the Google search ecosystem in terms of semantics and intent. Now, I don't know how Amazon search ecosystem works as far as as far as how granular they get in what they're providing. So if I bid on the term blue light blocking glasses and somebody searches for glasses that block blue light, is it, how much of, of that difference is Amazon actually giving me? You know, it's a difference in keyword and search terms. Um, and, and if they're giving me detailed terms, then I think that a software tool like this puts you really far ahead. Um, if they're not, then, you know, there's really no reason to use it. And if you're an Amazon seller, this is up to you to go figure out. I'm not here to tell you to do this one way or the other. Um, but I, I do like the idea. And, and for folks, even if you're not on Amazon, I like the idea of, um, informed campaign creation because it, it, it sets us ahead. So if you have the ability to go in and figure out what search terms work in other ecosystems, that's great. Bring them over to Google. Um, I, I even like failed campaigns. You know, I like if a client's brand spanking new versus a client that has, you know, 90 days worth of failed campaign data, I'll take the failed campaign data because at least it's telling me what's not working. And in some instances, it actually lets me know where your half-built bridges are. Um, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I shoot a video every day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.